This video is going to look at the International Date Line. The International Date Line is an important line of longitude. If you're not sure about longitude, you should watch the earlier video about that. In that video, we saw on this map that the prime meridian, which runs through Greenwich in England, is given the number of zero degrees, and all other lines of longitude lie to the east or to the west of the prime meridian. We also said that eventually the, the east and the west will meet on the other side of the world. Just a reminder that this part of the globe here joins up with this part of the globe here. Remember it's a globe, it's not a flat piece of paper. And so those two will meet on the, and on the exact opposite side of the world the, uh, the number of the longitude is going to be 180 degrees. This 180 degree line of longitude is the international date line. If we were to look at a map of the world from above, if the blue line was the prime meridian, then the purple line would be the international date line on the exact other side of the world. The Earth spins on its axis once every 24 hours, which means that some of the Earth is facing the Sun and some of the Earth is facing away from the Sun, and that's why we have day and night. If it was 12 noon in Greenwich on the international date line, on the other side of the world it would be exactly 12 midnight. And that would mean that on one side of that line it would be 11.59 and on the other side of the line it would be 12.01. And so on either side of the line we might have some people uh, with the, the time of 11pm and some people on the other side of the line uh, with the line with the time of 1am 1, 1 on the next day. So people on either side of that line when that line is at midnight have different days and that's why we call it the international date line. On this map of the world, we've made an adjustment, and instead of putting the international date, instead of putting the prime meridian in the centre of the map, we put the prime meridian over here at zero degrees. We still have all of our lines of longitude going to the west in this direction. Our lines of longitude to the east go in this direction, and then go off the side of the map and reappear over here. And so these are all of our eastern longitudes. Both of those will meet here at 180 degrees. And that is the international date line. This leaves some countries in a, a difficult situation where people living on either side of the line will have different times and they will be experiencing different days. So the international date line has been moved around a little bit so it doesn't fall in a straight line like this. Instead the international date line looks like this and we can see that up in this region what they've been able to do is to keep all of this area in the one time zone and not to be cut by the international date line and there's lots of little groups of islands in the Pacific and these little groups of islands uh, would like to be operating on the same time zone and so to accommodate that, the international date line has been moved around those islands. So because lines of longitude are all the same distance, uh, they don't have any bearing on climate, we don't have as many important lines of longitude as we do for latitude, but these are the two main ones. We've got the prime meridian at zero degrees and the international date line at 180 degrees.